Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I thought I'd do a little double feature today. They're both small homes. The first one's tiny, the second one's a bit bigger with more facilities. They're both by the same mod author who is Rosala. And the first one is Quaint Shelter. So I'll show you where this is. We're just outside of Winterhold. Near, well, if you've got um, the cutting room floor installed, then it's right near Hoarfrost Grotto. And it's just there. So as you can see, it's a tiny little cottage really bit of welcome respite when you're looking for some shelter in the terrible weather around here and it is super cute look at that view the views from this place stunning especially on a day like today where you can actually see stuff and you're not snowed in the key for it you'll find just down here outside of the chest and other than that outside there's just a wood chopping block and when I said it was small, I meant it. As you can see, it's a very traditional cabin. I've seen some really big homes lately and some, you know, out there crazy styles of homes. This one is just a cute, law-friendly, traditional property. So as you can see, a dining area, some cupboard storage, wash basin. Um, there's also a journal. I love that when the models was actually bother to give you a bit of backstory to the home. There's one for this home and the next one that we're going to see. So that is very cool. That really feels like, you know, they've gone the extra mile. And this is interesting. Look at the shrines down here. Great big warm fireplace with a cooking pot. And there's your tanning rack. I love the little bowls. This is a feature at the other property as well. And bowls of flowers. Arcane Enchanter. Look at all these boxes. That is so nice. And your alchemy lab next door. Some little mushrooms growing down there. Some potions to take. Soul gems, scrolls. Pretty, pretty bits of decoration and a whole shelf of shrines in amongst your bookshelves. Oh, just a ragged cap. <laughs> Let's not get too excited. And then a double bed. So it really is just for you and your spouse. This is nice. I like the way that the dress has been sunk back. Pretty. Oh, when he goes bored. Anything in the strong box? Oh, nice. Bit of money. So the home's free and it literally is just turn up, find the key, move in. The other one is a lot bigger. I'm feeling a bit neglectful really of this mod author because when I actually look to see how many of these quaint dwellings there were, there are loads of them. Uh, and I hadn't videoed any yet, so I do apologise. There's another key up there, so you've got a spare. Alright, let's head off to the other one. So the lodge is on the other side of the country, near Broken Ore Grotto, dead easy to find, there it is, just head up the mountain from there. So this one's a bit more substantial, wow, what a night, it's gorgeous here. Okay, so outside, as you can see, there's a stables. Sometimes the night seems more alive and vibrant than the day. He's so right. <laughs> And then you've got this big crafting deck. So this one does have a full smithy. And somewhere to sit and have a drink. I love the fact that this is in like an old ruined tower. That is very nice. I will make it daylight in a second, but the, sky, the night sky is just stunning. So you can have one follower sleeping outside if you're that mean. There's a cooking pot for them and a bedroll and then you've got this sheltered drinking area here. I like the detail of the icicles hanging down and then a wood chopping block and to get the key for this one you'll find a skeleton round here uh, and some armour. How nice. Have a look at that and at the boots for that matter.
Oh, I haven't emptied my bags. I'm sorry. Okay, so resi res increases frost resistance by 40%. That's all right, isn't it? Not bad. And there is actually a journal for this dude too. I remember where it was. I think it was up here on the wall. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't easy. There it is. Okay, so again, this gives some nice backstory to the home and what happened to the owner who basically fell off this ledge. And that's him down there that you've just taken the armour off of. I know I shouldn't laugh, it's mean, but... Anyway, so here's the cottage and again, there's a little bench down there for you to sit on. And this home is also quite modest. There's a spare key just inside the door, hanging up here, and an oven in this one, together with a cooking pot, and a dining area. And then off of that is your bedroom. Nice big fireplace. Shield rack, weapon rack. Bits and pieces. I mean, check out these shelves because there are things that you can take. The wardrobe, your enchanter and your alchemy, same sort of design as the other home. Some shield racks on the wall and these display cases. Nice. Look at these little planters. I am loving those. And this one with the sort of tree stump with the ivy. That is just a gorgeous thing all by itself. And then, I guess, a work area. More bits and bobs bookshelves, some little tiny baby gleam blossoms, and then a really nice big comfortable bed. Look at those clothes hidden underneath. Some of this stuff is static, but most of it you can pick up and take. Okay, every... Oh, good. <laughs> I love it when I find paintings. You never know where you're going to find them. They go in my uh, Dragonborn Museum and I still haven't found them all. So that is neat. Just in case there's another one. There isn't, but, you know. Okay, so that's it for this floor. There is another floor below. You see what I mean about it being very law-friendly and traditional? So down here is more of, um, well, I guess you'd call it a display room. Put your stuff around and about. Feels quite cosy. A few mannequins, more display cases, weapon plaques. A whole bunch of shrines. trophy there and yeah it's neat that's a tiny little brazier in there how cool and then next to that is your followers room so no room for kids in this one either but plenty for followers well you know plenty as in there are three beds and a coffin <laughs> random coffin Still, I suppose, you know, if you play as a vampire, you might want to sleep down here. Some blood potions. I don't know. I prefer all my... If, if a home has vampire things, I generally prefer them to be hidden away where I can't see them. Uh, only because I literally never play as a vampire. Oh my god, there's one there I completely missed. Hiding underneath this massive display case. <laughs> Oh, well, it, it, it caters to everybody, I guess. Okay, and I'll just show you the view outside in daylight so you can see what it looks like. Okay, wow. So, look at that. It actually really works, doesn't it? That whole crafting area down there is an absolute treasure. I love that. What a beautiful thing. That's it for the home. I hope you've enjoyed these two little places. They're very interesting. I always find it fascinating to see what the mod authors can do when they're using pretty much the same vanilla assets. 
uh, and it never ceases to amaze me what they can come up with actually so i'll leave you with that view call that the end of this wee video thanks as always for watching i hope you've enjoyed it do let me know what you think about them down in the comments and i'll see you soon for the next one take care and stay safe everybody